Better Business Break brought to you by Southern Bank, the bank of better business. All right, well, with us today is Steve, uh, Stephen Cosen, a uh, business banking specialist with Southern Bank. And Steve, tell us, welcome. Who do you have with you today? Thank you, April. Today I have Tina Gill, who is president of the Up Center. The Up Center is a human services agency serving residents throughout all of Tidewater. Welcome, Tina. And as I was telling you, I've been driving around town seeing all of your different centers. Tell me what you would bring to the community. What do you do? Sure. So the Up Center is this region's largest and oldest human services nonprofit. We've been in business for over 135 years, serving children and families in need here in our community. We work with 10,000 individuals on an annual basis across 22 programs. Mm -hmm really helping um, children and families change their trajectories from crisis to wholeness. Wonderful. Tell me about some of the programs that you have, particularly the ones for kids. Sure. So um, we have several programs for children, um, two of which um, are probably near and dear to my heart. So mm -hmm. the first would be we have a wonderful home visiting program that focuses on early childhood development and helping parents become their children's first teacher mm -hmm. and helps them be ready for school. We also have a great mentoring program. We have this community's only um, community-based mentoring program called Team Up Mentoring, in which we match at-risk youth with um, role models or mentors in our community. Uh, those adults spend up to an hour or two a week, 52 weeks of the year um, with children, really being a friend and a safe place uh, for them and helping them navigate some significant challenges that they have in their life. That's amazing, and that's quite a commitment. You also have some um, audio from one of your members, right? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. We brought some video and audio of one of our, our mentors, uh, Alonzo, who's Alonzo Parker, has been mentoring now for several years with us. He actually mentors two brothers, mm -hmm. uh, Chapman and and, um, and Chantrell, and uh, and he is does a phenomenal job in, in working with these kids. Okay, let's take a look at Alonzo. And one of the main reasons for mentoring is losing my father at the age of 17. I just saw how important it was to have that fatherly image in my life and how many men during that time, I had uncles, family, friends, neighbors, all supported me. As they say, it takes a village. So it, all that time and all the men that stepped up into my life, uh, I just felt that I could make a difference in their lives in the Elf Center. And little did I know, uh, they would change my life so much. That's great. I mean, mm -hmm. it's so important to give back to the community. How do you become a mentor like Alonzo? Sure. Um, so you can certainly go to our website, which is theupcenter.org, and uh, click on the volunteer link and follow it to um, prompts to become a mentor. Uh, we ask that mentors be willing to commit for up to a year um, and in about an hour a week. Mm -hmm. um, and if you fill that out, we'll take you through sort of a training process um, as well as a number of background checks and, and things like that to make sure that you're good to work with one of our kids. And if a person doesn't have that type of time commitment, mm -hmm. there are other ways to help as well. Absolutely. We have everything from um, you can volunteer one hour uh, a week just at an event. We have a, our annual fundraiser coming up in April. That's Step Up. We climb the tallest building in Virginia, uh, 37 stories and are always looking for volunteers there. Um, we also have needs if you're um, really trying, you have a, a business skill, maybe you're in marketing and you're in design and you want to loan that skill to the Up Center, we also have those sorts of volunteer and opportunities. And that event, available. big event, is that the Promise Fund? Um, the step, step Up does actually help fund our Family Promise Fund okay. and that's our promise to families in the community um, and we use those dollars essentially to go to the areas of greatest need mm. um, based on, on the year and how that's unfolding. Okay, well thank you so much Tina and Steve for joining us. Steve, uh, Steve who are you going to bring next time? Next time we're going to have um, Lisa Coleman from mm -hmm. King's Daughters and I also wanted to say to, to the audience that uh, Southern Bank Foundation has awarded a grant to uh, the Up Center to make their uh, 19th Street office in Norfolk more accessible oh. for all guests. Wonderful, wonderful. I'm sure you're proud of that very gift. Very excited and very yeah. thankful for Southern Bank's support. Great. Thank you, too, for being with us. Thank you. Thank sure. You. Well, you